Hey guys, today I have a video about the new features of iOS 5 that Apple announced today. So the first feature that I'm going to be going over is the new notifications. Uh, basically the new notifications will now pop up, pop up on your uh, lock screen. So you'll get recent calls and text messages on there. And you can open them right from there. Right from there. And it's similar to the mobile notifier app that's in Cydia already so if you guys want to check that out the mo mobile notifier app and the next thing is this thing called newsstand which basically is something like iBooks but it has like access to newspapers and magazines and a digital store and the next thing that's in it is Twitter integ integration. So the majority of uh, the apps already that are made by Apple will all have uh, Twitter integration in them. So you can tweet your locations, contacts, photos, web pages, and stuff like that. And Safari is also getting redone. And it's going to be similar to the Mac version of Safari where you get tabs and stuff and so the switching between pages will be much quicker than before and there's also the reminders app which is kinda of like a to-do list and that's really it for that new camera functions as well you're basically able to use the camera right from the lock screen as well and you can use the volume up key as a shutter button as well so people who like to take pictures I guess that's good and the mail app is getting updated again so now you'll be able to read rich text formats and you'll be able to change the size of indents within forwarded emails and message flagging and blog standard emailing whatever that is and that's really it for the mail app and the next is the probably one of the best things they've added is the no PC needed basically you can you don't have to have a computer in order to in order to have an iPod Touch or iTunes or anything you'll be able to activate your uh, iPhone right away instead of having to plug it into iTunes and stuff so it's really good for iPhone users and another thing they made is iMessage which is really similar to BBM where you can share pictures, messages anything you can do in BBM basically you could do an iMessage so that's really cool and the last thing is a slight update for Game Center you're able to check your progress against other people you can purchase and download games right from the Game Center app and you'll be able to play directly against friends and you can upload a profile picture on Game Center and get achievement points so those are the main updates of iOS 5. If I missed anything, you could leave a comment or something. But yeah, that's really it. And please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.